you know. I mean, there are nights, you know, it's, I'm crying myself to sleep. You know, there are moments when I've been angry, but I've allowed myself to feel whatever I felt in order to heal. Because in my experience, when I'm like not facing what I'm feeling, then I'm trying to find something else to help me get through the pain. Wait, Devon Franklin has cried himself to sleep every night since divorcing Megan Wood? Wasn't he the one who filed for a divorce though? But honestly, this whole divorce debacle has left me with more questions than answers. Did they divorce because Devon was a control freak? Was he forcing Megan to bleach her skin and lose weight? Did Megan really not want to start a family? And what are all these things I'm hearing about Devon being on the DL, allegedly? Are you guys even ready for this hot cup of tea? Because we don't like pain, we're always trying to feel good. Yeah. So, and that's cool, but so, so often what happens is if we don't feel, then we don't reveal. So, Devon and Megan were married for nearly a decade, and many people probably remember that relationship for how much Devon constantly protected Megan against backlash from the Christian community regarding her style and fashion choices. Unfortunately, in December 2021, Devon filed for divorce, and later on, both of them shared a joint statement confirming their split, saying, after much prayer and consideration, we have decided to go into our futures separately but forever connected. We celebrate almost a decade of marriage together and a love that is eternal. There's no one at fault. We believe this is the next best chapter in the evolution of our love. We are incredibly grateful for the life-changing years we've spent together as husband and wife. At the time of the divorce, sources close to Devon and Megan said that the divorce was a long time coming because their work schedules often kept them apart and they just didn't spend a lot of time together. Now, we all know that every time a couple breaks up in Hollywood, this is what they usually say, that their schedules were not working out, so they went their separate ways. If you ask me, I think there's so much more than what Devon and Megan have been revealing about their divorce. Because let's be real, this marriage had so many bright red flags, and I'm sure a lot of y'all also share the same sentiment. Maybe they are not sharing too much out of respect for one another, which is cool. But chances are pretty high that they were seemingly on opposite ends in terms of their personalities and lifestyles. It probably required too much effort to meet in the middle and compromise for the sake of their marriage. Plus, I think they have been doing way too many interviews trying to explain why they got divorced, and it's becoming a bit tired. For instance, in January 2023, Megan opened up on The View about how the divorce helped her rediscover herself in a lot of ways. You know, I feel like I get to start my life over in some ways and have like a second chance at, at whatever's supposed to be next. And so I'm really embracing that excited about it and I don't know what to expect and that's kind of amazing. Well, just a few weeks ago, in an interview published by Essence, Megan also revealed that Devon was the one who decided to end their marriage. However, she also said that she didn't place blame on her ex-husband even though this completely shattered her. She said, it's nothing that I would ever have chosen and when I realized that it was happening, I was devastated. I was like, this is me, Lord. I did everything that I could do to the best of my ability. I don't understand why I did all these things and then this is my end result. Megan also said that nothing malicious on either her or Devon Franklin's part ended their marriage, nor was there anything false about their book, The Wait, a powerful practice for finding the love of your life and the life you love. For those who recall, Megan and Devon wrote the book detailing their journey from courtship to marriage, which included abstaining from sex until they exchanged vows. That choice was, in theory, supposed to have led to a lasting union, but theirs ended in divorce. Anyway, she also revealed that the divorce was especially difficult because she didn't want to follow in the footsteps of her parents, who had also split up after 10 years of marriage. And for his part, Devon has also been opening up about the divorce. Like in December 2022, he was on the Red Table Talk, talking about how he never thought he would be divorced. It, it's it changes everything. Mm. It's painful. You know, I just bought a piece of property. First piece of property in the contract, mm. Devon Franklin, an unmarried man. Wow. Mm. I might have well that. broken down because yeah. I never saw this Just moment. When he said, I do, there was never a moment when we were thinking, I don't. don't. Mm. Yeah. So to live in the I don't, yeah, that's pain. You don't know what it's like until you do. Again, just recently on the Tamron Hall show, Devon shared that he allowed himself to feel the pain of the separation to heal. 
And I really tried not to worry about anybody else, but just focus on the healing process, right? right. And committing to that because no matter what, that pain is a teacher. Right? So instead of me trying to push through it, I really had to sit in that pain. In another recent interview on The Breakfast Club, Devon also said that he sometimes cries himself to sleep since his divorce from Megan Good. Mentally, I'm doing much better, you know? But the process to that, like, I can sit here before all of you and have this interview and be calm and, and introspective and all that, but that comes from a process, you know, I mean. They Regardless of what they have both said, a lot of people still feel like there's so much more to their divorce and that their marriage was always doomed from the start. In fact, one of the things that has come up many times is that their personalities just didn't align, especially given how Megan presented herself. And given all the backlash she was receiving, it's possible that the criticism made it even harder for their conflicting personalities. Something else that has come up a lot is that Megan did not want to start family with Devon. However, in her interview with Essence, Megan said that the decision to get divorced was not because of her reluctance to have children. But if you ask some people, they will tell you that it probably contributed to Devon filing for divorce. In addition, there has always been the allegation that as much as Devon tries to give positive vibes, he is truly as horrible as they come. In fact, there were claims that Devon had Megan bleaching and thinking that she was fat which is insane considering Megan literally looks like a goddess and anyone who has met her in person will tell you that the cameras don't even do her justice because she is drop dead gorgeous. Also, if I remember correctly, there was someone who once spilled that she heard Megan in a bathroom stall of a restaurant calling to report her every moment to Devon, meaning that throughout the marriage, Devon was probably a control freak. Other people even said that they believed Devon was controlling because as soon as they split, Megan landed more gigs. When she was married, people barely saw her in anything. And it was strange considering that she is someone who was a child actress and grew up in the industry. For many, it didn't make sense that she just suddenly bowed out as soon as she got married. The controlling aside, there have also always been rumors that Devon is low key on the down low. Allegedly. And Megan has only been gracious enough not to spill that tea. Other than that, people have also speculated that Devon possibly cheated on Megan, but that is something that Megan herself has denied. I won't go deep into the being on the DL allegations or the cheating allegations because I didn't find any solid receipts on that, but those allegations have come up. Okay, there are people who say that Devon is not as trashy as people make him out to be. I mean, it didn't matter that the people at churches where he spoke attacked his wife because he defended her. It didn't matter when their intimate photos leaked which showed her exposing herself to him because he stuck by her. So maybe the decision to file for divorce may have been because of something that Megan did and he just also doesn't want to spill. Some people have also said that the relationship was just PR, designed to get more eyes on Devon's works and in turn, he would use his relationship with the Lord to revamp Megan's party girl image and use his production company to make her into a serious actress. But unfortunately, Megan cannot act or keep her clothes on because she thrives on male validation. Maybe, just maybe, Devon also got tired of that. Well, that's what people say. Honestly, I don't know what went down. I wasn't there, but I'm guessing that it's much deeper than what they have revealed thus far. And as always, I would love to know your thoughts. Do any of the allegations we've covered make sense to you? Let me know in the comments section below.